<laughs> well, we got Mr. Boots here, and uh, whole cat family is here. Uh, Dixie was just here. I don't know where the hell he went, but he was just here. I was kind of worried about Miss. Uh, this is Onyx. Excuse me, that's Onyx. This is Miss Feather, and they're getting the cat vitamins. And put a little bit of this in his food too. He's put it right on the top. He's eating it, and he's been eating, drinking his coil silver water with a little bit of Lugol's iodine in it. So. I think this guy's gonna be okay. I think he's gonna be all right, Boo Boo. You doing okay? Yeah. I just gave him the can because I wanted him. He was so polite that he wasn't gonna go eat the food by Mama Cat, his girlfriend there, to interfere with her eating. So, see that? He, even though he's a big guy, he can. It's about three times the weight of her or something. <laughs> big muscle. It's like a little cinder block when you cement block when you pick him up, man. He's a good guy, right? The boots the Confederate cat, and here's your son. He, Onyx is about pretty big like him. Maybe pretty big. Paws was the biggest one, actually. You see his eye here? Ain't that freaking bad. I mean, he's got it. They're both closed when he's eating, but you know, it's getting a little bit better at a time. Remember, he had that big gold gash in his paw, his arm up there. This one right here on the, which would be that one right there. <laughs> See that? What are you doing, baby? I'm sleeping right here with the family. Huh? See? And he's got the uh, third eyelid thing going there, so. Anyway. Oh. What I do. This is some of the colloidal silver. A lot of times I put it in the food. Just a dash to kind of make a gravy. And uh, got the vitamins in there. This way, the food also lasts longer too. Because it's got antimicrobial on it. You know, the colloidal silver. Yeah. But they, you know, these were folios. <laughs> they keep eating the dry food. Dixie, where the hell are you, you little goo boo? Freaking was right here. Just, just, just when I wanted to get the food, he was right here. But I sure wish Mr. Paws was still around. I said I don't think nothing happened to him. I don't think nothing happened to him at all. See that? Hey, what are you doing? You drinking colloidal silver in there? Yeah. You freaking doggy cat. So anyway. My buddy Boots, you're doing all right, man, huh? Yeah, yeah, you're a little bit damp up there on the top, aren't you? You don't give a shit too much, do you? Huh? That's your son, too, huh? Huh? You're doing all right. Huh? <laughs> and you've been coming around here a while now, ain't you? Huh? You get the big old wide face. <laughs> You've been coming around here a long time, haven't you? I wish I could give him some kind of... I was looking up on the internet, giving him a, the rabies thing with... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like the way they do it with the wild animals, you know? They give them like a treat, a bait treat, and they just eat it that way. See that? You're back to normal again, man. Almost. You're feeling good, though, right? You still got your third eyelid going over your other eye protecting it, but I think you're going to be alright eventually. That French pine bark stuff is supposed to be really good for that, and it's good for cats too. I double checked that and triple checked it. So, I've been trying to give that to him when he comes by, when I see him. You know, micronutrient. Micronutrient, huh? Yeah. You be a good boy and stay here with your family, huh? Huh? Get your kitty cat house here. <laughs> He's a sweetheart, man. Yeah. My little boo boo. Boots the Confederate cat. How can be so much stronger than all these other cats, man? Your neck is like so big. And your head is big. Hmm? A little powerhouse, but you're a gentle guy. Especially with your family. Except when some intruder comes by, right? And you go right after him. 
<laughs> we don't need outsiders in here. This is a Confederate cat farm, right? You protecting it? Mm, you got the flags up there. <laughs> mm. You protecting a Confederate cat farm? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> There he is. I bet you if you knew where your other son was, you'd go get him, wouldn't you? Huh? Maybe he went pretty far away in a car or something, but I got one of these days, this guy's going to come back, Mr. Paws, and when he does, we're going to keep him, man. I don't think nothing happened to him. I think somebody grabbed him. He's, uh, he was gone a couple days. He never was gone. and was like real happy to be back. It was like somebody was holding him and he escaped. It's Feather Baby. That's your girlfriend, huh? Who's the Confederate cat's fiance? Didn't get married, but just had kids. I don't know. But her cats so don't need to boo. Boo boos. That's one kid down here. So you're a good boy, here, Mr. Boots. Good boy. Yeah. Urgh. <laughs> Where the hell did Dixie go, man? It's raining out. Where the hell? He's probably under the car. Yeah, he might be running under that car right there right now. Check him out. Yeah. You got a big old head, aren't you? Huh? You used to be somebody's cat, too, because you were... You, somehow you came by me when that somebody no longer taking care of you. And, um... Uh, I've been taking care of you ever since. You used to be somebody's cat. You had to have been. You'd be just tame, Right? Huh? You had to have been. Right? You had to have been somebody's cat. No feral cat's as tame as you. Huh? Right? <laughs> and one time when he came by, and this was several years ago, I guess, and his leg got bit by a snake. I don't know what it was, you know, he was holding up his leg that I found two puncture wounds snake you know and uh there's blood on it and stuff and I was like petting him it's up there it's up there like three four o'clock in the morning petting him and stuff and he's like here buddy you'll be all right <laughs> you'll be okay well, I should have been doing that colloidal so I've been doing a little bit of that colloidal silver water in a, in a water but that's basically I put um the last time I put, I guess it was about 12 parts per million, but then I put about a little more than half distilled water with it, so it might have been about five parts, maybe pure. Then I put a few drops of Lugol's iodine in it. Right, baby? That's all for you. Maybe that's why you're feeling so damn good, huh? The iodine, too. Was stuff I'm giving you. See? You can see microscopic battle scars on his ear, ears a little bit. You know? He's like, see, he's walking all fours. Right? Yeah? Where's your boo boo son at? What are you doing? Looking for him? See his house here. Right? Boots the Confederate cat. One General Lee Drive. That's where he lives. I don't know where the hell he's going, man. He's probably, looking, he's probably Dixie's down here or some shit. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Huh? We, oh yeah, there's Dixie right here. Hi Dixie. He is here. <laughs> Boots is like, <laughs> Boots is like chasing after. Boots, what are you doing that for, man? Mama's protecting him. You know why? He's still not fixed, Dixie. Maybe he considers him a, uh, what do you call it? Hey Bootsy, a competitor. Right? Hey. Hey. Right. We you go leave that guy alone. I'm going to get him fixed here pretty soon. Well, they're family, but they're still animal type family. You know what I mean? Right, Mama? I mean, this is, this is Boo Boo's son. <laughs> He's not cut. You don't have any family jewels back there. <laughs> Boots don't freaking. You know what it is? That's what it is, I bet you. But, uh. I'm getting him fixed here pretty soon, man. <laughs> Shit. 
They are still, after all, they are cats. They're meow meows. Right? See how Boots, now, Boots knew where Paws was. He didn't find him, man. <laughs> she walked right between him and her and his in the sun. See that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I gotta try to big Dick I gotta get Dixie more acclimatized to being inside because um he doesn't like to be inside. I can pick him up though. No problem with that. I don't know if I can get him in a cage easy. I think I can do it the first time. But I gotta find a there, there's boots. Where Dixie went to, man. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? You picking on your boy? Your boy's not competing with you for woman. You can probably get to get fixed here too, man. What the hell with it. See, today's not a day I can get him down there anyway. You got to get him at like eight o'clock in the morning on certain days. If you're gonna bring him in here unannounced, you know, right? That's Mama, it's his girlfriend here. Who's no longer goes in heat. She's fixed. <laughs> I gotta be careful though if I bring him in that you know he's gotta be a hundred percent. Because you bring a cat in, it's got wounds on him. They'll put him they'll put him down because they'll you know, if you don't have recent rabies shots and he's got wounds, they'll say, well, you gotta kill him. That's what a lot of them will do. That's the one reason I'm afraid to bring him in. So, anyway, he's just looking around. Dixie's went that away. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can start bringing Dixie in more. Bring him. He's okay though. He, I bring him in, and uh, he's okay. He's uh, he's okay with his little meow meow partners here. Even this, even this girl up here. Go digger. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Come here, Boo Boo. Here's Rocky. Here's Putin. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Oh, you got scared, huh? He don't, he don't, he gets along with him. So, anyway, we got Goldie in there. Anyway, we don't know where this guy went to, but he's under here. Probably. Hey. Here's Goldie, so, with Onyx. <laughs> the gold and the black, just like Harley Davidson colors, right? There you go, playing around. Got a cat scratcher there, see? That one thinks a cat scratcher is anything, that's Goldie. Yeah. So.